Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate and talk about SAP's preventive maintenance. Now, preventive maintenance is really just a generic term that's used for anything from inspections to maintenance and planned repair tasks. So, anything that needs to be, any maintenance tasks that need to be repeated regularly. And so, what I'll demonstrate is the creation of a maintenance plan for a piece of equipment that we'll be doing inspections on and then we'll schedule that maintenance plan and then finally we'll see the resulting work order and I'll talk about how we can do this in batch processing and run background programs for this to happen in the background. So the first thing we'll do is again create the maintenance plan and the numbering will be generated internally and we can choose from the different categories we'll choose maintenance order, continue, and then we can name the maintenance plan and then we'll put in how often we want these work orders to be generated for this particular maintenance plan so this can be anything from hours to days to years in this case we're just going to have these plans created or these work orders created every six months down here we can also choose equipment and functional locations uh, in this case, we will just choose the piece of equipment and then enter in additional information that will all be pulled into the work order from this maintenance plan. So we have our planning plant, the order type, and with this client here, we have specific order types set up for preventive maintenance. So we'll choose that order type, uh, the work center. In this case, we have different engineers and individuals who will be actually performing the maintenance set up as work centers. We'll hit enter. Okay. Then we'll also put in the WBS of where this will be going to and you can see here that we have this going to this particular boat in this case. So I'll scroll back up and in addition we also have counters that are part of this maintenance plan so we can set up um, SQL queries to come in from pieces of equipment so say that you want to track engine hours and that you want a work order to be generated for your engine every thousand hours that's where this information would be input to is the counter moving forward we'll enter in our scheduling parameters and so this has all the different dates that we'll be using to schedule the work order. So I'll start up top here we have shift factors which are basically if you are early or late completing a work order how far in advance or behind you want to schedule the next work order. In this case we'll leave those as we'll put 100% in here. So if we're late by a day the next work order will be shifted by one day. Call horizon is at what percent of your cycle do you want a work order generated? So back on this tab, here's our cycle is six months. So if we put in a call horizon of 50%, we'll see a work order show up in the system at three months. If you would always like to have the work order in there, we can just leave that empty. We can also choose how far into the future we would like this to be scheduled. So if this is a very long-term uh, ongoing process, we can put in something like 15 years. And then we can choose the start of the cycle. So when would you like this to begin? In this case, we'll put in today's date. And so when we create, when we schedule this maintenance plan, we will see the work order in the system six months from this date. And so that's all we need to do to schedule the maintenance plan. And now the next step will be scheduling that maintenance plan. So you can see we have 124 uh, was the maintenance plan that was just created. We'll then go in and schedule this. So no work orders will be created just with the creation of a maintenance plan. It's a scheduling that will then create those work orders in the system. And so right now all I'm doing is creating one maintenance plan and one work order. Oftentimes these are done in a very large batch process 
So you could have thousands of different maintenance plans um, and you would schedule those all at once in a batch process. And that batch process can be set to, ske to schedule um, daily in the background. So in this case, we're just doing one. So I'm doing this all manually through IP10 for scheduling. So you can see once I hit start, we now have all of the different dates that the work orders will be appearing for. And now all I need to do is save this. And now we can see that that was scheduled. And next we will take a look at that work order that we just created. So we'll put in a more specific period here. So if it will be six months into the future, we will put 823. We can also put in our order type. This is a benefit to creating these different order types is that we can filter very quickly and easily. Um, and discern between the breakdown work orders and the preventive maintenance work orders. So I'll run this report. And it looks like I chose the incorrect order type. So again, we need to make sure that we have that preventive maintenance order type chosen. And then we can run this again for all of our preventive maintenance um, work orders. So down here at the bottom we can see is our work order that was generated um, from the maintenance plan that we had created. And you can see we have all this information pulling in from that maintenance plan. And so once this work order is completed, the originating maintenance plan will need to be scheduled again. <clears throat> That's the reason why we use background scheduling is to schedule all of these thousands of maintenance plans to continually be in the system. So that way, whenever one of these is completed, we will see a new one generated in the system, and we usually set that to about once a day, so that any time throughout the day that a work order is completed, uh, by the next day you will see the next work order. In this case, the next one would be six months down the road in the system. So that concludes the video on preventive maintenance. Again, it's a great tool for scheduling inspections and other recurring maintenance tasks and begins with a maintenance plan. That plan becomes scheduled and then you see that maintenance plan as a work order in the system. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call our number listed here or visit our website at sap-bmc.com.